Hey guys, Chad Trofkerman here. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to adjust the overall speed of your Flash movies. Now I've actually received this question quite a bit and that's why I'm going to go over this and it's actually really easy to do. So here's how you do it. First, I have a simple animation here. As you can see, if I hit enter and play it, you can see it's a bouncing ball. And this is just for my demonstration. Now you could adjust the speed of this animation by lengthening the amount of frames in the timeline down here or shortening them, and that would adjust the speed. But if you're looking to adjust the speed of your entire movie, you can go ahead and change the frame rate of this movie. First, let me just go to Control, Test Movie, just to show you what this looks like right now. That's what the speed currently looks like. Now, if we come down here to our Properties box, and we come down to Properties, and we have this line that says FPS, you'll see that it says 30. This is the frame per seconds line. And what this means is right now, there are currently 30 frames for each second of animation. So, if we adjust this, it will adjust the entire movie, and adjust the speeds and how many frames are in each second of animation. So if we click this and we change it to 15, let's just cut it in half, and we go to Control Test Movie, you can see it's a lot slower and choppier now. That's because there are less frames in between, making it not as smooth and, of course, as I said, choppy and slow. Now this might be a desirable effect for your animation. It just depends on what you're going for. Now alternatively, if we go over here and put in 60, and you go to Control Test Movie, it'll go really fast because again, there's 60 frames per each second and there's a lot more going on there. So that's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to change. Now just a couple things to keep in mind. If you have a higher frame rate, chances are your file sizes are going to be a bit bigger when you are exporting your files. Also, if you have sounds or voices in your movie and if you decide to change the frame rate halfway through, you're going to probably end up with some syncing issues. For instance, if you animate a mouth and it's talking and then you go ahead and adjust the frame rate, your frames are gonna be off compared to what you had for the sound and the timeline. So just some things to keep in mind. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you guys next time.